Hey guys, it's Zebra here, and welcome to a new Advent Calendar video. Today we're going to be playing Salt Lake 2002 for the PS2, seeing as the Winter Olympics next year, and it's a Winter Games, and it's in December, so I thought, why not? Uh, we're going to be playing on Novice on Olympics mode, doing all the different events, seeing how good I am, or bad I am, because it's been a long time since I've been on this game, see if I can win any medals. So hopefully you enjoy the video, and see you next time. Welcome to Salt Lake City. Thank you for joining us here for the 2002 Olympic Winter Games. Yes, but before the competition start, we will enjoy the spectacle of the opening ceremony, which promises to be very special indeed. Welcome to the blue ribbon event of these Olympic Games, the men's downhill. Next to go, the Britain. And he looks to be away to a powerful start. He must know he's not far off the leader's time now. Now, can he gain enough over the rest of the course to make it onto the leaderboard? Just a fraction of a second's advantage over the current leader. Can he maintain it? that on the day couldn't be matched. He is the Olympic champion. And what a great run. We've seen some wonderful action here for this men's downhill event, so let's reflect on that as we see the medals presented.
K120 ski jump event. Cool and calm, the British competitor is ready. He really needed more power in that launch. That was an ambitious attempt, but I just wonder whether that crash puts an end to his Olympic ambitions. I wonder. He's way down the field at the end of this first round. And he's definitely not happy with that. And now... Cool and calm, the British competitor is ready. And that's a fair jump from him. He achieved that takeoff with real style. That was an ambitious attempt, but I just wonder whether that crash puts an end to his Olympic ambitions. I wonder. And that final jump places him at the bottom of the scoreboard. The competition here today has been... Welcome to Salt Lake City for our coverage of the men's snowboarding. For this race, the British rider will be racing in the blue lane. Oh, and that's a good start from the blue lane. And the British rider on the blue run looking good as he enters the bottom half of the course. Winning this run easily, the rider on the blue course. For this race, the American will be on the blue course. Oh, what a good start from the red lane. And the British rider on the red run is looking good now as he enters the bottom half of the course. To a confident victory comes the competitor on the red court. And that result means the British rider is through to the next round. Well, the competition is certainly heating up as we move into the Olympic quarterfinals. Racing on the blue course will be the British rider. And the rider in the blue lane is out of the starting gate first. British rider on the blue course looking good as he enters the bottom half of the course. And coming in to an easy win, the rider in the blue lane. Racing on the blue course will be the Austrian rider. And that start has left the rider on the blue course with some work to do. Red lane is ahead now as they reach the halfway mark. And the red lane rider wins decisively. And confirmation there of the British rider's place in the semi-final. and down to the last four riders in this Olympic competition. For this race, the British rider will be racing in the blue lane. And 
the rider on the red course is slow out of the starting gate. And the British rider in the blue lane reaches the halfway mark first. Well, winning by a big, big margin, the rider on the blue course. Confirmation on the scoreboard, that first run win means the British rider will start the second run with the advantage. For this race, the Italian will be racing in the blue lane. And on the course with the red flags is the British snowboarder. And they're out of the start gate with next to nothing between them. And the British rider on the red run is looking good now as he enters the bottom half of the course. And the red lane rider wins decisively. And that confirms the British rider's place in the final, leaving his opponent to contend for the bronze medal. Two men two medals and just two races to decide who gets gold. Racing on the blue course will be the British rider. And the rider in the blue lane is out of the starting gate first. And the British rider on the blue course looking good as he enters the bottom half of the course. The blue lane wins. And as the scoreboard confirms, that first run win means the British rider will start the second run with the advantage. The Swiss rider will be racing on the course marked with blue flags. And the rider on the blue course is slow out of the starting gate. And the British rider on the red run is looking good now as he enters the bottom half of the course. And riding into a confident victory comes a competitor on the red course. Jubilation for the young British rider as he wins the Olympic gold medal. snowboarding giant slalom medal award ceremony. These competitors have pushed themselves to their limits to prove themselves as the best in the world. And an Olympic medal is a fitting reward. folks as you join us at the start of the first run of the women's alpine slalom next to go the britain good conditions have met we've seen some fast times today
and surely now she's one of the leaders. That was a determined effort, and you can see she's happy with it. Next for us here, the Briton. She's looking very focused. Well, that's a steady start from her, certainly. She's built up a significant advantage on the leader by the split point. in the last run, and deservedly, she takes the gold medal. Isn't she happy? A new PB! We're going back over now to see the medals being awarded for the women's slalom competition we saw earlier. Hello and welcome to this coverage of the Olympic Winter Games. Join us for the women's freestyle aerial. Competitor. Let's see if she can produce that medal winning performance. The trick she's going for a lay tuck tuck carries a tag of 3.2. She's gained good height as she left the kicker. I think the judges will have liked that jump. Good, clean moves from her. And that's a great score, putting her in an excellent position for round two. And she seems to be delighted with the scores from the judges. And the British competitor looking very calm and composed as she prepares for her jump.
This next jump will be a lay tuck pull. If all goes well, a tap of 3.5 should make for a good score. Good speed and some great height off the kicker. And a good display of freestyle jumping from her. After two superb jumps, she's managed to take that Olympic gold. She's embodied the true spirit of the Olympics throughout. And she's overjoyed with that result. Welcome to the Women's Freestyle Aerials Medal Presentation Ceremony. And now the competitors will be awarded their Olympic medals. Join us today at Utah Olympic Park, which is hosting the bobsleigh event. Next to go, the British bobsleigh team. Well, if that's an indication of how well their challenge will be, we could be in for something special. Just a little bit down at this point. A good first run means that they're amongst the top three teams competing for a medal in Salt Lake City. However, they still have another run to complete. That run really has showcased their skills here at the Utah Olympic Park. Next up, Britain. Well, if that's an indication of how well their challenge will be, we could be in for something special. They're keeping to the racing line and it's really helping them to keep their speed as they go into the corners. This run has got to be one of the highlights of the Salt Lake Olympics so far. It's incredible. Now they know they've taken gold not only for themselves, but for their country too. That run really has showcased their skills here at the Utah Olympic Park in Salt Lake City. One of the highlights of these games so far, this two-man bobsleigh event showed us all what was good about Olympic competition. Let's now go to the medal award ceremony.
You join us here for the final day of the 2002 Olympic Winter Games. This closing ceremony really serves as a farewell to Salt Lake City for many of these competitors. Yes, the competitors have done themselves proud over the last couple of weeks, and this is their first opportunity to relax and celebrate their achievements. And what a celebration! It turned out novice difficulty was actually quite easy. One five six events, the only one I didn't win was jumping because I couldn't land. So maybe if in the future I can try harder difficulties. If you want to see, let me know. I can always do some of the other tournament modes, etc. See how hard or how well I can actually do. But now I'm just gonna do the jumping, see if I can win the gold and novice. Thank you again for watching, and see you tomorrow. Conditions absolutely perfect for the Olympic K120 ski jump event. Let's have a look at the British jumper, let's see what he can do. He could have put more effort into that takeoff. Well, if he wasn't known before today, he will after. A good first jump that still leaves him a chance of a medal if he can deliver in the next round. Well, that was a poor show for such a promising competitor, and he knows it. And the next competitor to jump is the British competitor. He's straight into a good flight position. What a good solid performance that was. Well, the gold medal was there for the taking. And now he's made it with those two amazing jumps. He's definitely got something to be happy about now. You join us here for the K120 Ski Jump Olympic Medal Ceremony. This is the moment that these competitors have been waiting for. After this, they will take their well-deserved place in Olympic history.